Okay, so I said we were going to go to the E3 demo of Bleak Falls Barrow, and I needed to take a break to look it up, and honestly, it's just as easy as you would figure. COC, E3, demo, Bleak Falls Barrow. Because you do have to use console commands to get there. I just want to show this off, because, uh... You notice, though, that they're a lot more, uh, dangerous? Yeah, because they're fucking bandit marauders. I have no idea what level they are. Level 2? Bullshit. Maybe Marauders just hit harder, I don't know. Oh. Oh! I am using a, a glass retexture mod. So instead of green, it's like a blue color, like from uh, Elder Scrolls Online. And of course, still nothing in the burial urns, because why would there be? Fucker. I will be taking that orcish dagger, though. Well, that makes up for it, almost. Of course, all this cool stuff wasn't going to be in the the actual Bleak Falls Barrow. No, no. E3 demo. Like, why in the fuck would they expect you to be ready to take on, like... You know, all this shit.
Well, that's different. Careful with those flames, unless you plan on torching something. I will say, Sounds of Skyrim really does its job. So it's interesting to see the changes that went into uh, in the final product. There's a lot more Draugr in this area here than normal. So I think the original one only had like one or two, like right in that specific area. Doesn't have anything good. And these ones wake up automatically, unlike The other ones. Oh, cool. Uh, I can't attack for some reason. So, yeah, I can't attack for whatever reason. Isn't that fun? I don't know what the fuck is going on, but uh, it's not letting me attack. Yeah. Oh shit. Not dying here. Nope. Nope. I'm not dying in an E3 fucking dungeon. A demo dungeon. And being lost to the void. Oh, now I can attack. Oh, okay. Nice to know it was just temporary. fucking cunts. There's like ten of them. I 
There's like a dozen or so of these fucking Draugr here. One, two, three, four, five. It's just short of a baker's dozen. Ah! Of course, in this version, there's no way to uh, deactivate the death traps. I believe that the sword glitch, not being able to use it, that was... That's persistent in the, uh... The console version of the game. I remember playing it for first time 360. And encountering this, this glitch. Very, very, very infuriating, not helpful bug. I wouldn't have gotten my health so low if I would have been able to use my sword. See, look at that. A glass fucking sword? Come on. I wouldn't have had any fucking problems with that. I'm not gonna, like, reload the save before this, before going to E3, because... Look how much gold I have. 372. This ain't gonna mean shit. It ain't gonna mean shit. Oh god. Oh god. No. A Draugr fucking Death Lord. Sorry, not sorry. There's no way that my motherfucking level six ass could take on a Draugr Death Lord. There is no way. I mean, I knew it, it was kind of ridiculous with, like, the levels in this demo dungeon, but my god, a fucking Draugr Deathlord at level 6? To say it's ridiculous? That's an understatement. Jesus Christ on a cracker. Actually, a Dwarven War Axe. My Dwarven all just would have loved that. Oh, look. Something that wants to kill us. Nope, you're just as bad as the Death Lord. And you can go die in a fire. I 
the enemies are so ridiculously overpowered. Like, you would need to be endgame just to test it anyway, without god mode. It's ridiculous! Was oh, this another death lord? It's nice though, now the chests are locked. That's a plus. So normally I think this would take us to uh, that room. Oh no, okay, so this takes us right to the room of the claw. Uh, and we don't have it. We gotta fucking backtrack. We gotta fucking backtrack. Of course I could just TCL my way through it. You know what? We're already here. And I think Arvil is, like, essential. He can't be killed. So, uh... I didn't think so. I was thinking maybe that Draugr had the uh, Dragon Claw on it, but no. L. TCL. I mean, we're already using console and god mode and blah blah blah. It's not my fault that the demo dungeon gave me a fucking free glass sword. It's not my fault. No hidden gold? Where the bloody hell is... It's a test dungeon. Who fucking cares? There's nothing in it! There is no Draugr inside this crypt. I got Godmo turned off. TGM. Okay. We already opened this. Okay. I kind of want to see what happened to Arvel. Uh, 
Okay. If we do exit the dungeon, then we go back to normal Skyrim. That glass sword is is really gonna help me um, level up my uh, thief skills. Cause I was in dire need of an upgrade. Oh, is he actually dead? Ah! I thought he'd be essential. I could have sworn I remember the demo version of him. He was essential. Draugr Deathlord. That was basically the sub-boss. This isn't even the final boss area. And that's where we fought that fucking Draugr Deathlord. I was expecting a Dragon Priest or another Draugr Deathlord to pop out of that fucking sarcophagus, but, uh... I mean, you saw it. We TCL'd through it, and there was uh, nothing in there. Looked like there was an upstairs area up there, but... You know, it's just part of the, uh, the ruined ambiance of the dungeon. If I remember correctly, it was Bear Moth Owl. It's amazing how much they kept that, re you know. Oh! What? What? I now have two golden claws. <laughs> Arvel had one, and then there was one conveniently right in here. I did not even see that urn the last time I was there. The first time. In this E3 dungeon. <laughs> of course, they would place that in there because this is a test cell. It's not meant to be, you know, accessible, which is why the enemies are so insanely difficult. So they would want to make sure, oh, I don't want to fucking backtrack all the way there. Just put, you know. Maybe there's some hidden gold in here. That would be nice. No. 
as I just whack my forehead on that bridge post. I know I checked over here, but I'm OCD. I'm really, really, really paranoid about not getting all of my just desserts. All of my little shinies and knickknacks and rewards and all that. So I think the E3 dungeon... I mean, it's more harrowing because it's more deadly. But I think it's almost, like, scarier if, you know, because these are meant to be scary. Like, ooh. Like the Crypts of Morrowind. They have the scary music, the scary atmosphere, the ambiance, the ghosts. Or not really ghosts, but, you know, the ancestral tomb keepers. Now, this is going to spit us out, like, in the in a White Run Hold, but way, way, way far away from actual Bleak Falls Barrow. We're going to be put somewhere like by the western watchtower I think it was yeah it looks different at night because I forgot I was going to wait a few hours till it was morning time okay here we go yeah so I remember doing the E3 demo, like, finding out about it and being like, oh, like, I have to check that out. I have to try it. So now we have two Golden Claws. So there are three Golden Claws in this timeline now because uh, the original one we gave back to Luke and Valerius the second one, we got off Arvel's corpse after doing the kill all command. Everything was already dead anyway when I did that, except for Arvel, which I was under the impression he was essential. Which I think that was just a, a mod I was using at the time that made him essential. Um, I wonder if the Khajiit are here. I don't think they are. Let's go back to Riften. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? <laughs> Climbing back and we'll be off. I was expecting at least, at the very least, a Draugr cool, Deathlord huh? or maybe a Dragon Priest to be the final boss of that E3 demo. Because if you look at it, the way... I, I mean, we shut some of those enemies that says level 2. I'm level fucking 6. And those marauders were kicking the shit out of me. And they were just using base game weapons. They weren't using, you know, ebony swords or glass swords. No, it was fucking an iron sword, a steel sword. Get rid of some of these saves because they're just... And they were kicking the shit out of me. I have two perks to increase. Okay. Well, I'm going to save those. I mean, you could tell because it was a test cell. It was, it was not meant to be accessed normally. I wanted to show you guys in case you've never seen it, though. It's been... Ten years since Skyrim came out, almost. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it by now. Or has heard about it. And, you know, seen it for themselves. Greetings, honored friend. Everything I've got on display, really. I mean, it's definitely meant to just test out, like, um, you know, like a high-leveled character.
Safe travels, Landstrider. You know what? Let's let's do your little Everything jewelry quest. I do. Sadly, I'm one of the few traditional Saxleal jewelers that remains in Tamriel. It's becoming a lost art. Only trouble is gathering materials has become hazardous. The roads to the mines and to the other cities are thick with bandits, and worse. Would you be interested in gathering some materials for me? I'd certainly be happy to compensate you. Oh, I'll certainly compensate Thank you. you. Grand Strider. I'm seeking a small list of Not in gold. my next creation. Two flawless sapphires, a mammoth tusk, and a chunk of gold ore. Safe travel, Strider. Did she leave her stall just a minute ago just to go something? bitch at that guy? Just here for training. See for yourself. Yeah, she did. She left her stall just to go bitch at um that dark elf guy uh, whose name I forget. Sure. You can have a golden claw. Come back when you're ready to spend. Goodness knows I could use it. There are now three golden claws in this timeline. I have one. Lucan has one, and uh, Grelka has one. It's not my fault. It was a dragon break. Popular excuse among uh, Bethesda devs. Everybody always blames Todd Howard. It's like, isn't he just like the the mouthpiece for Bethesda for Fallout and Sky and uh, not Skyrim, Elder Scrolls? Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. Okay. I'm listening. Stick with me, and he'll never even know you're there. I do have a level up coming. I think. selling I'm not buying all right but if you get arrested don't blame it on me oh good I'm broke again wonderful amazing it is so worthwhile to not cheat it's so worthwhile to never cheat ever in this game. Like you see, and I could. I could by all means. I have a Conjure Gold spell. Haven't used it once. Because if I really felt like it, I could just say, eh, I've beaten this game enough times. I've earned it. But I kind of just like going through and doing whatever, you know. I, I, I kind of like doing the rags to riches type of, uh, you know, unknown scoundrel who makes it big. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Relka. Okay, I think I'm going to call it here. Because we already did like and already did an hour plus this going on 40 minutes, 35 minute playthrough. 
And my character is looking pretty good. He looks like a barbarian. Clad in furs with his little spiked out helmet. A close up of his face. Yeah, he does not look like a supermodel. He looks like a, a, a slightly smoother, less rugged of the normal. That's because of Ethereal Elven Overhaul. But uh, my Thief playthrough will continue. I'm going to keep doing some odd jobs, keep earning some gold, leveling up, training. Um, I'm going to save the whole... the fuck is that quest called? A Chance Arrangement. I'm saving that for when my sneak and my pickpocket it, and is higher. Because I already did, like, the main bit, which was unlocking everything beforehand. So I'm going to do the rest of that later, after I'm, I'm more comfortable with my skills. And, uh... Then we will progress through the... the we'll join the Thieves' Guild proper. And then uh, we'll just, you know, progress through those... As they happen. I'll go ahead and delete that. Save it. And until next time, I will see you all in the next one.